Hey guys, Renner and Shades here, exercise my first member rights vlog style. First of all, I would just like to give a very big, special, full-hearted, wholehearted thank you to my good friend Danny the Metalhead for his contributions in my previous video, the What's Wrong With video I made about Avenged Sevenfold. Thank you for all your help with that. I think the video came out quite nicely. You rock! And definitely check out Danny's channel. If you like what I do, you'll definitely like what he does. But anyway, on with today's video. So I figured I'd talk Facebook with you today and just what I think of Facebook, you know, the way people use it, the way I think it should be used, and certain little things about it. This isn't a video of me bashing Facebook, I guess, because I'm not going to bash Facebook. I have a Facebook which I... I'm not going to link down because I don't have a page set up for Rander and Shades at the moment, and I don't want to be one of those guys that just leaves his whole channel open for his viewers, like what Undertaker Freak 1127 does, what JJ Discussions, PM Rants, what they do. I'm not going to do what they do and just have my page open for anybody who views my videos to just, hey, add me on Facebook. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I'm not going to bash Facebook because that would be kind of hypocritical on my part because I'm a person who is on Facebook quite frequently. And with, with what comes with being on Facebook frequently is just noticing a lot of annoying shit that I'm going to talk about in this video. But first of all, I would just like to just explain what I think... Facebook really should be for, and I felt this way ever since I first got started on Facebook, back in, like, the summer before I started high school. That was, like, 2008. Anyway, I'm going to teach you the two C's, which stands for uh, connecting and conversing. That's what I really think Facebook should be for, connecting with various people in your lives, whether they be, you know, close friends of yours that you could just contact if you don't have their phone number, like... Hey, what was the homework for such and such? Or if they're a friend of yours that lives a distant from you, like certain family members that don't live close to you, or camp friends if you like to keep in touch with camp friends like I do. So Facebook is good for keeping up with people who you don't see particularly as often, at least not as often as you would like to, and conversing with them and just catching up with them, you know, ha having a conversation going, inboxing each other, commenting on each other's shit, leaving a post, just updating on what's going on at the moment. That's what I really think Facebook should be for, as well as actually um, just keeping up to date with, like, certain pages on Facebook. Like, I spoke about a, a Facebook page that I like to follow. Um, the, the Facebook page, American Metalheads USA, which I call AM for short. I like to keep up with that page. And, you know, certain pages of, you know, for example, people I follow on YouTube. Like, uh, for example, uh, like Must Destroy All's Facebook, Mr. Repsion, Camia Bams, Giant Riella. You know, you know, those types of people. I like to be up to date with those peoples. And as far as the kinds of stuff I like to post on Facebook, usually I like to keep the stuff I post, like, you know, informative. Something that I think people actually care about or would actually be interested. I'm not going to make Facebook my personal diary like a lot of people like to do. And usually when people do that, I just, you know, edit my news feed options and I don't see posts from them without necessarily unfriending them. Like I did that for one girl that I knew back in high school who was actually really nice to me. I didn't unfriend her because I thought that would be too mean. But really, she was posting some of the most irrelevant shit, like when she's getting in the shower, when she's going to bed, and all this stuff that I just really couldn't care to see, and I'm sure other people couldn't care to see either. I like to keep my posts informative, 
you know, to people. Like, if something, you know, serious is going on. Like, for example, like, when I was on my way home from spring break, I posted, All right, I'm gonna be on a really long bus ride back to New York, you know? That kind of stuff, because I actually think it's more important than what you ate for breakfast. Getting back to that girl I knew in high school, another thing she posted about all the time was about her relationships. Like, whenever she was in a relationship, she would never shut up about how wonderful her boyfriend is. And she, she couldn't go a day without saying, I love my boyfriend such and such, you know. She, she seemed to always be in a relationship because she would always be making a status about a boyfriend. And when that relationship came to its inevitable end, there would be weeks upon weeks of these just sad emo statuses and emo poetry, which I hope to God isn't original. Like, come on. Like I said before... In an earlier video, I think it was my long distance relationships video, breakups suck, but these things happen. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And posting all these really depressing posts on Facebook isn't going to make anything better. If anything, it's just going to ruin more people's day. And speaking of posting writing, I, I'm also not the biggest fan of when people quote lyrics, no matter what the song is. You could quote the lyrics to... My favorite song by Firehouse, uh, Hold Your Fire, the title track from their second album. You could make your status, I'm like a loaded gun, I got you in my sight. You could make that your status, and it would be just as pointless, you know? It's irrelevant to people. No matter how good I may find the song, I think it's pointless if you're just going to waste a spot in someone's newsfeed just quoting lyrics. Especially if they relate to you. Like, if I'm going to be talking about music, I just talk about, you know, how cool I think the song is and provide a link to YouTube. You know? The other main problem I really have with Facebook, well, there's two other things I would like to talk about that don't have to do with what people post. One is about, you know, how Facebook is easy to stalk people with. Like, there was another person I knew back in high school who was adding damn near everybody who went to my high school, and even outside of school friends of these random people. Like, he added my little brother, and I'm basically thinking, dude, you don't know my brother, you don't, you aren't on any teams with my brother, you aren't in any classes with my brother, so how do you know my brother? I have thought many times about confronting him and saying, Dude, do you even know half the people you friend? You're such a fucking creep. I mean, he's a cool guy in real life, but other than that, on the internet, he's a creepy-ass fucking douche. I really don't like it when people who have no mutual friends who just know me from a fan page or something like that, if they're just going to add me for the hell of it, for the sake of adding someone. I don't like it when people do that. I think it's really creepy when they do that. I also think it's kind of creepy if a person only has, like, maybe one mutual friend with you, so you're just thinking to yourself, who the hell are you? I'd also like to take some time to give Timeline a little bashing. Ever since Timeline was forced upon everybody, I've been just thinking, all right, now... If you're applying for a job, these companies are going to have easy access to how much of a dick you were back when you were starting on Facebook. I mean, I can't really imagine companies really doing that, but still, it seems like a kind of thing that these sorts of people would do. Like looking for a reason not to hire you. Colleges looking for a reason not to accept you into their facility. I mean, I know it's not really relevant. That's basically why I think it's kind of stupid that they would even use Timeline to look at your Facebook posts back from like your freshman year of high school when it really doesn't matter for applying for a job or applying for college. So that's really all my thoughts on Facebook, what I think it should be used for, how I use it, what I think of 
the way people like to use it. I could talk about these, you know, Facebook trends, but I wouldn't be saying anything that other people haven't really said already. So I'd save that for another time unless I feel really compelled by something that's circulating the interwebs. So I bid you farewell for now. I'm Shades, and I'll see you next time.